हेलो फ्रेंड्स आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज लेंस एंड कैटरैक्ट सो आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ फंक्शन ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइन लेंस आवर आंसर इज सी पार्ट मेटाबोलाइजिंग टॉक्सिन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड इज वॉट इज अ नॉर्मल चेंज इन द नॉर्मल ह्यूमन क्रिस्टलाइन लेंस एट एज इट एज इज एज आंसर इज ए पार्ट इट डेवलप्स एंड इंक्रीजिंगली कर्व्ड शेप रिजल्टिंग इन मोर रिफ्रैक्टिव पॉवर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड इज वॉट अकर्स ड्यूरिंग टर्मिनल डिफ्रेंशिएशन आंसर इज ए पार्ट लेंस एपिथीलियल सेल इलांगेट्स इन टू लेंस फाइबर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ इज वॉट इज द फर्स्ट प्रिजेंटिंग साइन ऑफ मार्फन सिंड्रोम इन द आई आवर करेक्ट आंसर इज मोनो ऑक्यूलर डिप्लोपिया क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ इज वट आर ग्लूटिनो एंड विटामिन ए एंड सी प्रेजेंस इन द एंटेरियर चैम्बर अवर आंसर इज सी पार्ट टू स्केवेंज फ्री रेडिकल क्वेश्चन नंबर Sixth is what occurs when ciliary muscle contracts. Our right answer is C part. The diameter of the muscles ring is reduced thereby relaxing tension on the jugular fibers, allowing the lens to become more spherical. Question number seventh is the why sutures seen in the adult lens are the resulting of which of the following? Our correct answer is D part fusion of the embryonic cells within the fetal nucleus. Question number eighth is which of the following? systemic disease is not associated with ectopia lentis our correct answer is myotonic dystrophy question number 9th is what is a typical characteristic of a lens coloboma our right answer is d part often associated with cortical lens opacification question number 10th is which of the following is seen in peters anomaly our correct answer is b part defects in the corneal endothelium and decimens membrane question number 11th is oil droplets crystalline and slow fake flake cataracts are characteristic of which disease respectively our right answer is d part glycemia myotonic dystrophy and diabetes question number 12th is a patient presents with a mature lens and secondary glaucoma without evidence of pupillary block what is the most likely diagnosis our right answer is b part faculitic glaucoma question number 13th is which change is most characteristic of exofoliation syndrome our correct answer is c part increased pigmentation of the tabicular meshwork question number 14th is a 65 years old patient presenting with a gradual reduction in eye one year after 
varectomy to repair a retinal detachment what is the most likely explanation our right answer is c part nuclear cataract after varectomy to repair the retinal detachment question number 15th is which of the following is true regarding the epidemiology of cataract our right answer is d part they are the leading cause of reversible blindness question number 16th is in the developing world which of the following could apply to a patient who develops a visually significant cataract our right answer is a part an additional person may be removed from the force workforce for the care of the patient question number 17th is what did the waver dam i study determine regarding visually significant cataract our correct answer is d part the incidence of visually significant cataract increasing slowly from age 54 to 75 question number 18th is if the best corrected visual acuity of the patient with cataract is 20 by 100 a surgeon would be most likely to recommend surgery if our correct answer is b part potentially acuity meter pm acuity is 20 by 25 Question number nineteenth is: If a patient has a dense white cataract and the posterior pole is not visible, which of the following would be most helpful for the clinic clinician in deciding whether to perform deciding whether to perform surgery? Our correct answer is. b part b scan ultrasonography question number 20th is if a patient is found to have a best corrected visually activity 20 by 40 in each eye but report that vision is adequate for his needs which factor would cause the ophthalmologist to consider cataract surgery our correct answer is c part the ophthalmologist is see the patient's retina well enough to evaluate it question number Twenty-one is in a highly myopic patient. Which of the following best describes appropriate step in decreasing operative risk? Our correct answer is C part. Carefully examine the peripheral retina preoperatively. question number 22 is which of the following is a source of potentially complication during cataract surgery in uveitis patient our correct answer is b part zonular laxity question number 23 is which of the following step would reduce the operative risk of surgery for mature white cataract our correct answer is c part staining of the capsule with trifen blue and endocyanin green dye 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ इज अ पेशेंट विद विजुअली सिग्निफिकेंट कैटरेक्ट इज फॉन टू डायलेट पॉली ऑन प्री ऑपरेटिवली एग्जामिनेशन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द मोस्ट लाइकली काज ऑफ दिस पोल डायलेशन आवर करेक्ट आंसर इज सी पार्ट एग्जोफोलेशन सिंड्रोम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वुड वी द बेस्ट इनिशियल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अ पोस्ट ऑपरेटिवली शैलो एंटीरियर चैम्बर कॉस्ड बाय सिलेरी ब्लॉक ग्लूकोमा आवर करेक्ट आंसर इज बी पार्ट साइक्लोप्लेजिया एंड एक्वस सप्रेसेंट्स